What's up guys, Midnight Snack here, bringing you a quick bite of a game called Crimson Land. It is a top-down arena sci-fi shooter from a studio that goes by the name of Ten Tons, and is my understanding that it is a, a remake of a game called Crimson Land from 2003. I'm not 100% sure on that, uh, but I'm pretty sure it is. And that game was also a top-down like arena sci-fi shooter type game. So let's uh, let's go ahead and go in. I'll show you guys uh, the options, and I think I'm going to go into probably survival mode uh, first, and then we'll go into quest mode later. Now, in the interest of full transparency and honesty, uh, I will always be 100% honest with you guys in any video like this that I make that's kind of like a preview or a review. Uh, I, I would like to say the developer provided me with this key for free. Um, but that does not mean I'm going to tell you guys it's the greatest game I've ever played. Again, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into our options menu. Show you guys around a little bit. It's actually an e extras menu because there are a few options as well as some extras. Uh, audio options, we have sound effects, music. Sound effects being your, your gun sound effects as well as what the monsters, uh, the sound that the monsters make as well as them kind of exploding into little delicious gooey bits. Display options, there aren't any graphics options so you can just change whether or not you want it window mode, pick the resolution. Um, if you're having trouble activating this window, you need to click into it, and then you can scroll with your scroll wheel. It took me a moment to figure that out, but that's how you get into it. Uh, I was expecting to be able to like slide it around or use the arrow keys or something. Controls, very basic, uh, which, you know, it's fine. They do what they need to do. You can rebind these, WASD, you can rebind them like the arrow keys or something if you want. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard, but this game does have full controller support. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell, uh, there we go, from the backgrounds. The game does have co-op. Now, it is only local co-op, so if you're hoping for online co-op, it, it doesn't have that. I'm not sure if there's any way to kind of like fake it with something like Hamachi or a Tungle. I, I'm, again, not sure. I wouldn't imagine there would be. Uh, but, local co-op. So if you have a PC or something that you hook up to your TV, maybe big picture mode. Uh, I believe the game's also on consoles as well. There's a link in the description below to the developer's website that will show you all of the platforms that's available on. Uh, so yeah, local co-op, the game looks like a ton of fun. I just don't have anyone to play it with right now, uh, unfortunately. But co-op definitely always makes games more fun, so I think I think they're missing out by not having uh, online support. So, back in the extras menu real quick. We have a few extra things. We have weapons, perks, and achievements. Um, I'm not going to open the achievements. There are achievements you can get. It's also where you can see your statistics for your like playtime and deaths and stuff like that. Uh, weapons, you can see there are a good number of weapons. How many is that actually? That's six across, five down, so like 30 weapons. Um, I've unlocked about half of them and then I deleted my progress file to show you guys kind of what you can expect to get into after about uh, maybe 15 minutes of playtime. So we have just kind of like standard weapons like our pistol, assault rifle, shotgun, uh, submachine gun. We have things like the Gauss rifle, which is actually like a sniper rifle with piercing damage, which is pretty cool. Um, this ion rifle shoots kind of like Tesla rounds, which when it hits an enemy, it'll kind of arc lightning around to them. Um, and they all have their own stats, which you can look at at your leisure. And we also have perks, which in survival mode, we'll get to pick a perk every level, I believe. Uh, and then that will kind of augment our character a little bit. So like this one, we'll reload a little bit faster. Uh, this one right here. Perks will just randomly spawn around the field. Uh, we can even do things like this one, 50-50 chance of either dying or getting 30,000 experience points. So like say it's your first perk, you see this, you grab it, and you die, it doesn't matter because it was your first level up. If you get 30,000 experience, you're gonna get like four or five more levels, levels up, level ups, there we go, level ups, out of that 30k XP, and you're gonna get a lot more perks to kind of progress you a little bit faster. So both the weapons and the perks you unlock via quest mode, which we'll talk about in a little bit. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. Let's go to survival mode, because I like starting with the positive things, uh, and I did tell you guys I was going to be completely honest about this game. So, survival mode. This is the most fun I've had in this game, is playing survival mode. Uh, we just have classic survival mode unlocked right now. I believe you get survival mode unlocked after beating like quest number three or something like that, so you get it fairly early. And then we have uh, four more that are currently locked, which I guess we get those from playing quest mode as well. I know just from playing that the second one is you only get an assault rifle, you have unlimited ammo, you don't have to reload, there aren't any perks or power-ups or anything, you just shoot and try not to die. Uh, but we're going to be playing some survival mode and trying not to die. So you can see right off the bat there are leaderboards. Uh, so if you're buying this game with the intention of being the world's number one Crimson Land player, I guess you have that option. I don't think these leaderboards are legit in any way. I mean, we have 
This person right here at number five has a score that's nowhere near as high as anyone else. Number six has a score that's higher than everyone else, uh, but it's just straight nines across, which makes me think that it's kind of just a BS score. So I, I don't understand the leaderboards, but if that's your thing, then good on you. They could very well be legit, and I just don't understand what's going on. So, survival mode, this is going to be, uh, again, my favorite way to play this game. We kill enemies, get some weapons, it's endless waves of enemies, and they just kind of spawn slowly in the beginning. They ramp up fairly quickly. We have an XP bar up in the top middle, uh, and then we get points just from, from killing things. So, when our XP bar fills, we will get a perk, and then that will kind of augment our character, as I showed you guys a few of the perks earlier. And we just keep going from there, trying to get drops, trying to get power-ups to drop, uh, and, and generally trying not to die. I'm trying to kill the spawner right now, just to keep it from spawning too many things. I guess let's kind of let's clear a path out this way. Fire Blast, that'll help us clear a little bit of a path. There we go. Now, uh, in, in quest mode, which you guys will see in a little bit, things spawn on the screen, uh, but thankfully in survival mode they spawn off the screen there we go level two pick a perk um, we get more XP or we get XP constantly coming in it's not just depending on when we kill things this one will make us radioactive monsters near me lose health at a consistent rate Dodger we have a chance to dodge an attack uh, whenever they come in and melee whenever they melee you they will slow you down a little bit and take away some of your HP uh, and then doctor we can we will get little HP bars under them and we'll also do a little bit more damage I'm gonna take Dodger just because it, it feels like a good a good life decision to take Dodger. So we are killing things now. We've been killing things. Hopefully we'll get a better gun. But we are killing things. This is going to be uh, probably my... Not probably, definitely my biggest complaint about the game. Survival mode is fun. I have fun playing this. Doing stuff like this is awesome. You don't do this in quest mode. In quest mode... There are fast loader. That sounds good, probably. Let's get bloody mess. More XP. I'm assuming things make bigger messes when they die. In in quest mode, it's a a limited number of enemies that spawn, and it's kind of like themed levels, which is it's okay, I guess. Let's get that. There we go. A little bit of bullet time. Always fun. A nuke. I'll have that. I'll have that absolutely. Um, but you have to play quest mode. Even if it's, personally speaking, it's less enjoyable, it's a lot less enjoyable. You have to play it in order to unlock weapons. So you can say, well, you know, you're not getting a lot of weapons to drop. Um, that's because I don't have them unlocked. You have to play quest mode. So we have long distance runner. We move, uh, you move like a train that has feet and runs. You'll move faster the longer you run without stopping. Um, we carry a horrible disease that's contagious to monsters. They eventually become resistant over time. Poison bullets. That could be good. You one-shot most things early on, so I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take Long Distance Runner. That way we will eventually get faster, which could possibly get me killed at some point. There we go. Reflex booster. Mm. And this is, where, this is where I have fun. Now, the music. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it too well over me talking. Once we finish the survival mode, I'll go back out and I'll... Uh, increase the volume of the music a little bit, but honestly, I don't really care for the music that much. It's not necessarily that it's like this kind of metal style guitar riffs. It's just that it's very generic sounding. Uh, the music's not really like dynamic or cinematic or anything. It just feels like uh, someone spent a few minutes in GarageBand playing with loops. That's that's all it feels like. Uh, it's it's very repetitive. It's very generic, and I. I'm not a, a huge fan of it, so I had a lot of fun whenever I just kind of put on some of my own music, some other game soundtracks, maybe a little bit of like Daft Punk, some sort of trance, uh, some of your own metal, something like that. Whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. I would love to go back in here and get this. Maybe we'll be able to. We ding. Let's get the. There we go. Med kit. Uranium filled bullets. That's more damage. Uh, this telekinetic power ups come to us. This is amazing. I love this perk. We're completely surrounded, of course. Hopefully we can get out of here before the shield goes away. Good times bears. Those guys are fast. Those guys are fast. So, uh, monster variety. I don't I don't feel like there are a huge number of monsters. I think there's maybe like half a dozen, something like that. Uh, most of the time they're recolors. Most of the time they don't do anything different other than just being 
a different color. I stopped moving there for some special reason. Maybe I just stopped moving with my keyboard. That's probably something I did. All right, I'm trying to corral everything up in the middle, which seems like it's working reasonably well until I get over here, hoping to get some sort of weapon or power up, but again, uh, we just don't have them unlocked because we haven't played quest mode. There's a new. Probably should have saved that a little bit. Probably would have been a very good idea. I see a very large spider up there in the middle. There's another nuke. Just trying to clear the screen a little bit. So this is where you're going to have the most fun in the game, in my opinion. Uh, you can tell I'm just using this little SMG, which is like, why don't you get a better gun? It's, I don't have a better gun unlocked, unfortunately. Uh, that's more damage. This is going to be the, we get the little HP bar per. This is extra ammo. Uh, I think extra ammo would probably be pretty good. There we go. There we go. Now we're starting to chain stuff together. Oh, that's good. It's ion rifle going on. That'll chain some damage around there. There we go. Things are things are picking up. Unfortunately, I picked up the Gauss rifle and then just kind of ran in there trying to get that med kit and then died. But I had fun doing it. I got a new local high score. Accuracy 72%. Got 917 kills, 4.5 minutes. I think we did pretty well considering we don't have any unlocks. So again... Survival mode is where I have the most fun in this game. I'm going to back out. I'm going to show you guys quest mode uh, and then just kind of talk about a few things that I don't really like so much. So let's go ahead and say the things I do like are survival mode, uh, the weapon variety. Once you have weapons unlocked as well as the perk variety, they add a good amount of replayability to survival mode. But in quest mode, like you, it's forced upon you. You can't just go play survival mode. You have to play quest mode. So we start off with normal difficulty, we have six chapters, each chapter has ten levels and you just play them. So we'll do level number one real quick. You start off with a pistol unlocked and I believe the assault rifle unlocked. You may get an assault rifle on your first kill, perhaps. I got an ion rifle because I have it unlocked. Uh, you won't get a drop if you don't have it unlocked. So typically this is just going to be you waiting for enemies to spawn in the earlier levels. You're shooting them in the face, they die, and then you just wait a little bit more. Uh, later on, they do ramp up in difficulty. The quests do ramp up in difficulty. But for the most part, it's just like stand and kill things, move around a little bit, kill things, and I don't know. It's it's not as enjoyable as survival mode. You don't get as many power-ups. At least it doesn't seem like you get as many power-ups. You don't get perks at all. Uh, you just you kill stuff, and that's it. They are themed, uh, like some levels you'll have lots of spiders, some levels you'll have lots of monster spawners, uh, lizard, men, lizard men, excuse me, um, ghosts that die whenever you kill like the enemy that's in the middle of all of them, stuff like that. Uh, it's all, it's fine for maybe like the first, I don't know, half hour or so, 45 minutes, and then after that you're probably going to want to try survival mode. And then once you try survival mode, you're probably not going to want to go back to quest mode, but you're going to have to so you can unlock more things. Alright, you can die, sir. You can die. So, quest mode is going to be my biggest knock against this game. Uh, if the the unlock system was tied into like everything, like maybe every like certain number of kills you got, you unlocked a weapon or a perk, and then you just increase the amount of kills it takes uh, to unlock the next one, or maybe like do it by XP or something like that, like experience earned in survival mode. I think that would be nice, but just like doing these kind of like basic quests constantly it's kind of tedious now you can see these guys are just like they're spawning in um, on like like that guy right there he almost spawned on top of me they will do damage to you and in quest mode they will kill you um, by doing that so it's it's kind of annoying in survival mode you can see they walk in from off the screen or they spawn at a spawner uh, they basically come in where you're expecting them to come in but like this I, I can't predict that something's going to spawn on top of me, so it's it's kind of annoying uh, if you lose a run just because something spawned in on top of you. Um, so again, all of this is just tied to quest mode. I don't I don't enjoy quest mode at all. Um, I believe I've spoken about the music. I forgot to turn it up a little bit. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Um, I'll go back out to whatever mission we're on right now. We're on mission number nine, and you guys will see that I'll unlock something nesting ground. So maybe spider spawners. I honestly don't remember. Don't see anything going on. You can see in the corners we have press fire to join. But uh, I don't have anyone to play with. I would absolutely do some, some multiplayer for you guys if this was online co-op. 
but I, I don't have that option. So you can see we have the ion rifle that we have unlocked. There's an assault rifle. If I would like to get an assault rifle, I wouldn't. Uh, I prefer like the miniguns and stuff once we get those unlocked. And you can see these just kind of like fire the electric rounds that arc as I miss everything. <laughs> there we go. Took a little bit of dumb damage, but that's okay. It is just quest mode after all. These missions are usually fairly short, at least from what I've played so far. Uh, so yeah, a few a few other negatives I have about the game are the art, like generally speaking, the monster design. Um, everything feels kind of like kind of bland and generic. Um, I think like this is a, a fourteen dollar game. I think they could have done a much better, like had much higher production values, like better quality art. Uh, more monster variety, better particle effects even, um, and I, I, better music. I think it, the whole game could have been done better. Uh, at the at the current price point, I probably wouldn't recommend it unless you're just like, I love twin stick top down shooters and I have to own all of them and I will play them all until the end of time. Like if it's your absolute favorite genre, then absolutely maybe check this game out. I'm not saying buy it, just check it out. We've unlocked a perk, hot tempered gives us a little fire AoE that goes off occasionally around us while we're playing in survival mode only, again not in quest mode. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll back out let you guys hear the music a little bit because again I think it's kind of just like garage bandy kind of, we found some loops. Like that's pretty much it. There are a few different loops that I've heard but it's, like that's pretty much it. I don't know. Uh, I just I, I I feel kind of bad just because like the game was given to me for free, uh, and I guess I'm I, I have never really been super comfortable critiquing people even when I was going through uh, through my degree in college through like the art classes and stuff. Um, but it's I don't know. I I feel like the game is very generic and, and, and kind of bland. Uh, survival mode's fun. It's a blast if you have like a few minutes to kill and you want to blow some stuff up and you get a really good run. But it's, to get the weapons that are a ton of fun, you're going to have to kind of sit there and, in my case, suffer through quest mode um, to get to the fun part of the game, which is unfortunate. It's also unfortunate the game doesn't have uh, online co-op. This, right now, what's going on in the background, it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, having multiple people coming in, flanking, watching each other's backs. It looks like a good bit of fun, but again, unfortunately, it's just local co-op, um, which it's it's awesome that they have local co-op, but with the exclusion of not having online, it's just it's a shame. Um, another thing that I don't I don't really care for seeing it it probably won't bother a lot of you, but it bothers me seeing an advertisement for a T-shirt on the main screen of a $14 game it like it's I don't know that's something I would expect in like a free mobile game not in a, a $14 full game so it, it's just another one of those things that kind of bothers me a little bit um, just to just to recap again I feel a little bit bad because again it was provided free but and I'm, I'm being pretty negative about it uh, I have a ton of fun in survival mode it's great once you unlock uh, more perks and more weapons, you can have a good bit of fun. Uh, but playing quest mode, getting through the quest mode just to get the, the survival mode stuff is really tedious. Um, there is a good amount of replayability. If you do sit through quest mode and unlock a bunch of stuff, you'll have uh, good randomized runs occasionally. I've had, I've had a few samey runs that were back to back. Um, but generally speaking, you'll, you'll get a good variety of runs to keep you entertained. And if you are the type of person that likes this sort of game, absolutely look into it. Uh, if you're kind of hesitant about the game or on the fence about it, I would say maybe wait for a Steam sale where it's uh, a few dollars and then pick it up and try it out and at that point if you get a couple hours of entertainment about it, at least in my opinion, you've, you've got your money out of it. Uh, so yeah, if you're curious about where you can purchase it, check out the links in the description below. I put up a few links to where you can directly buy it. I also put up a link to the developer's website uh, and then it'll list all platforms that it's available on. Uh, again, the game is 14 US dollars, and I'm assuming it will be in your regional equivalent. I know sometimes these sites can kind of screw you over a little bit in regional equivalents. 
but that's gonna that's gonna wrap this one up. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video and appreciate the honesty. That's gonna be it for me as always. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.